Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another battle report. I uh, played a game recently of uh, Fantasy Battles. The first one I played since March, so it's been way, way too long. But I figured it was a good time to make a battle report from it. So I brought out my Ox and Goblins. Wanted to try out some new units. Most importantly, that uh, giant you can see in the, in the picture that I recently uh, finished painting up. Also wanted to try out some chariots and things like that. So um, yeah, we'll get onto it. So uh, here we can see the enemy army playing against beast herds, and he has a, uh, a racer tusk herd of one here, some gargoyles, a uh, raiding chariot. A big unit of mongrels with spears and the banner of discipline and with them is a uh, chief um, character that has a uh, shield breaker and that's pretty much it. Behind are some mongrel raiders with bows and a uh, soothsayer with druidism master, a big unit of uh, longhorns with halberds, full command, and a banner of speed, I think, yeah. With them are two characters, a Balasana bearer, who's a totem bearer as well. He's got a shield and two up armor. And beside him is the general, um, a beast lord with a titanic might and some defensive gear. Um, not. He, ha he has a 4 up ages save, so probably de Destiny's Call, I think. But he has a few very, very high strength attack. Uh, there's a Razor Tusk Chariot behind him, and another uh, Raider Chariot. More gargoyles, and some uh, Senti. Uh, no, not Senti. Um, Centaurs. Um, who are drunk. The scenario we are playing is a secure target, so we have one, one point here and one in this lake down here with my army. Here's another picture of his army, uh, but nothing new really. Uh, the terrain, this is an impassable, this is his uh, dark forest from the uh, soothsayer, another, another forest, a hill. Um, I will go to a picture of my army, and you can see here's a field, uh, and an impassable, and a lake. So, my army, we have a boar chariot, brand new, first game, four grotlings, um, Madat, my mascot, uh, it's a forest goblin king on a huntsman spider, he's got a lance, a shield, heavy armor with basalt infusion, um, and he's got the uh, crown of Wizard King, so he's a <coughs> Wizard Apprentice with uh, Pyromancy, this game. And uh, yeah, that's it for him. Oh, he also has the Dusk Shield, if that's important. And then we have a Wizard Adept on a Wolf, or a K-Goblin Witch Doctor. He's got the Skull Fetish. He's using Thaumaturgy. We have a Wrecking Team. We have 48 Cave Goblins with Nets, Full Command and 2 Maggots. 11 ed Mounted Ed Bashers, uh, who are Feral Orcs. They have Shields and Light Lances, Full Command and Band of Speed. A Warlord is riding with them, Iron Orc, on a Boar. He's got Plate Armor with Tuk Tuk Guard, so Resilience 6. Uh, paired weapons with Shady Shankin, so Little Strike and, and uh, Lightning Reflexes. And he's got Talisman of Shielding and Troll Ale Flask. So quite quite fighty, quite tanky. Behind them is a uh, Great Green Idol. This is uh, a model that I borrowed. Um, my opponent kindly lent it to me. I wanted to try him out. He's a Battle Sun Bear. And we have a Wyvern behind him who's a uh, 
in, uh, written by a uh, master of shamanism, um, so shaman, who's got the uh, uh, shield breaker paired weapons and the panel protection pinchin and a heal a medical hero so four spells and uh, uh, some attacks we have a big brother giant with nets another wrecking team big unit of ed bashers 35 uh, with spear shields and full command and green tide banner so common orcs not ferals and another chariot over here in the corner the spells i got were Break the spirit, the time summon, or oh god that, that I chose, uh, awaken the beast, um, the uh, uh, bring the pain of course, and um, swarm, oh, swarm of insects, and the thaumaturgy guy got um, the cleansing fire, and um, speaking in tongues, no, that's not what it's called, the Breath weapon and the uh, toughness strength uh, hex, basically. Uh, my opponent, the soothsayer, is using druidism. He has healing waters, the um, summer growth, stone skin, oaken throne, and um, the damage spell, whatever it's called. Man, it was a long time ago I played. Um, as we'll see in the game as well. So, first turn I decided, decided to do, do something dumb, so my Shaman decided to cast um, Totemic Summon. The first thing I did was I, I threw a, a Fireball with Mad at, at some Gargoyles and killed two, but they passed their Panic Check. And then I used the remaining 5 dice to uh, summon a, uh, a Totemic Beast. But I miscast a th triple 5, which got, turned into a triple 6. So I got four hits on myself, and three wounded, and I saved nothing on my five of ages. So one wound left on the wizard, uh, not a gr not great, but I did get a totemic summon at least. Uh, the boosted version, as you can see, he popped up here in the top. Um, so I got <laughs> got that going for me, which is nice. I deployed first and went first, so this is after my first movement. I march up the um, orcs here. This is actually after his charge phase. So the other wrecking team was over here, but he charged the raiding chariot into my orcs and killed uh, both the wrecking team and the chariot in the process. Um, the Vyvern and the, the Great Green Idol turned to face the other way, to, to, uh, to face his ambushes, because he had two units of 15 um, Wildhorns and a chieftain in both of them, one with a breath weapon. On the uh, left flank I moved up uh, mad at because there was nothing here that really scared him except for the shield breaker guy over here. Uh, these guys are having a bit of a standoff not knowing who will charge, so that's what's going on there. Uh, mad at used his bow in the shooting phase to uh, shoot at the gargoyles and um, hit on a 6, so cause poison, and kill the gargoyle. They failed their uh, panic check this time, passed it in the medic phase, but failed in shooting phase, and ran off the table, and caused a panic test to the raiding chariot, who ran away over here. He has now rallied. Um, here you can see the uh, Ed Bashers after having taken a charge, but uh, the chariot disappeared in a smoke of wrecking teams. The Briar Beast popped up. Yeah, he had more ambushes that I, that I uh, had temporarily forgotten. So in the forest, we got the Briar Beast. Here, the um, Wild Horns popped up to use their throwing weapons and a breath weapon on my shaman in a very fuzzy picture. And the other unit popped up here. His general had an item that allowed him to uh, ambush in the first turn, so that's why they are already on the t table. He cast uh, Blackwing Totem on this unit a little through because I wasn't that afraid of him charging. Because. Yeah, and he cast a wound here. He killed my wizard with a breath weapon. 
which was not ideal, but uh, what you gonna do? Uh, didn't fail in the panic, panic test at least. So my sh my turn. Uh, the Great Green Idol charges here. These three charge the uh, uh, Longhorns, which is why I let the um, movement buff through. He did get the guilty, I didn't really realize that at first, and it turned out to be semi important. The Chariot charged this unit of um, Centaurs. I used my Warcry, which turned this into a 10 charge. Let's go back to this picture. So the um, Ed bashes on the hill, they had a 13 charge, so that's a an 8 with three stride and a reroll, so that's fairly easy. The uh, the pigs had I think it was 19, no 18, and movement uh, 9 on this turn. So um, needing a an 8. Uh, or is my, my math uh, off. No, I think sounds right. Um, or a 9 they needed. And the giant was 17 and his movement 8 this turn, so a 9 there as well. And the boar riders failed, but the other two units made it. This guy needed a 10 with the war cry, and he succeeded. We also charged Mad at over there into the um, racer task and succeeded. So this is the charge, I put the giant on the other side, because that felt better. The wrecking team moved up far into the forest, took a wound, but whatever. Um, he's in a good place. And I cast Cleansing Fire, that's what the spell is called, um, on the, gi the giant. Uh, and he got a 3 on the d3, so some strength 5. Uh, breath weapon incoming. This guy su succeeded his charge. I released the maggots through the briar beast and killed it. Did a single wound on the grotlings in the process, so they are experienced with handling uh, maggots, it seems. Uh, I wonder what this picture is for. Uh, maybe it's after the combat. I think so, yeah. So the combat. It went well for me. The breath weapon it do, didn't do that much, but I killed quite a lot of uh, longhorns. It didn't kill that much of me because the net uh, slowed him down. Um, Magic, of course, is quite weak for me. I only have two spells, so he can decide which one to let through. Um, and I stomped quite good with the big brother upgrade. Uh, let's see here. This unit was wiped out, a good impact hit roll, uh, saved him there, which was <laughs> very nice. He did a single wound in return, I think. This combat was going poorly, I charged these guys in the flank, did a few wounds, he did one back, I think, and then uh, reformed to face me. Uh, yeah, let's see here, I need to go back a little bit. Yeah, you can see Madat up here in the left corner, he killed that uh, Razor Tusk and then reformed. Um, my thinking was that the only thing that, that's threatening him here, I wanted to be able to, able to charge in the next turn, and the only thing threatening him was this guy in this unit. Oh, by the way, the wizard had abandoned this unit because of the Totemic Summon, so he's in with the big unit of mongrels, mongrels now. And the Totemic Summon rolled 4 on his movement, so he didn't make it in, into the raiders, so that was awful. But anyway, Madat decided to uh, stay on the, on the table, not pursue this guy, not overrun. Um, because if he wanted to charge with the only guy that could, could take him on, then he could not charge this unit into the flank of the Edbashers. That felt like uh, he would prefer to do that. And he did. And in the combat, he got um, spell through to uh, make him distracting or a, a to totem through, so I didn't kill anything, I think. I, I really, really felt my attacks, and I, my net hit hit the giant instead. So, really ter terrible round. He killed a lot of me, and uh, both units broke and fled. Uh, but both, both survived, he rode very poorly for pursuit. Uh, these guys made it into the goblins, however. 
So that's that. Who can see the final position? Uh, so this is after my charge phase. So I charge a chariot in here to help the Great Green Idol. In his turn, they cost even more wounds to this guy. He's down to, to three wounds. Um, so they cost quite a lot on, it, on him. Madad charge into the flank of the uh, mongrels. And uh, these guys both rallied. Here you can see after the combat. So in Magic I cast the Cleansing Fire on Madat again in the combat. Or again, Cleansing Fire again and I again roll a 3. So he used his Breath Weapon and killed a lot of mongrels. And uh, I won the combat by a lot, broke his head fast. He fled, Madat ran him down and then ended up where, where you can see him. I, I let him choose uh, to flee from Madat. The uh, Great Green Idol and the Chariot killed the Wildhorns over here. And reformed like this. Uh, or they didn't kill him, the chariot pursued them, but he fled in this direction, so he, he bumped into this unit, the Great Green Idol. Um, so yeah, that's about it. He charged with the long horns into the Adbashers and the wild horns into the giant. This chariot here also tried to charge the giant, it failed. Uh, rolled quite low. It needed a 9, I think, on Sweet Stride. Uh, so, a bit, a bit unfortunate. Uh, let's see. Yeah, in the combat, he uh, the Longhorns annihilated my unit. I did think I didn't do anything. He managed to get distracting up again. Despite having no wizard, he continues to outshine me in magic. Uh, these guys who charged the giant, they got Another totem on them to make, give them one uh, more attack, and um, that meant that they did some wounds on the giant, three I think, and he hit back and stomped and fled, and he elected not to pursue and instead reformed to be able to charge into the flank of the Longhorns in my turn. Uh, so in my turn, let's see here. Yeah, the Shoyot here charged the Wildhorn that they ran off the table. The Great Green Idol, Idol charged into the front, Giant into the flank, and Madad into the rear. So, surrounded, surrounded them. Like this. And he had distracting up, but I had so much stomp, and uh, so I, I, I killed a lot, basically. He did kill quite a lot of my <laughs> boar riders though. As you can see here, my general went into a challenge with his champion and killed him. But he is, a, of, of course, a bodyguard, so he's staying, going nowhere. Um, yeah, the net succeeded in this round, which was uh, fortunate. It saved me quite a lot of damage. Let's see here. Is this a different picture? I don't think so. Just the whole battle instead. Uh, and again, an ad identical picture, I don't know why. Um, so, over here, he over two turns, he used, used the Mongol Raiders to fire at the, my Goblin unit and killed the Shaman out of it. <coughs> so now, now I have no magic. He charged the Gargoyles and the, char the uh, uh, Razor. Uh, the chariot into the flank of the giant, but the chariot failed again. But the gargoyles made it in. And magic, he again outsmarted me. He managed to get extra armor penetration, extra attack on the um, longhorns, making him a threat to my characters. Or his lord make, uh, became a threat to my my lord then because his armor piercing went up to four. And uh, he also got distracting on the gargoyles. Didn't really care about that. I did the spell of Raven's Wing though. He had the uh, Crown of the Wizard King on his uh, <laughs> Ballastan of Error. Forgot to mention that. A really fussy picture, so <clears throat> sorry about that. But it didn't really help him. I went in. T uh, we had didn't have any challenge, I think. 
in that turn. Um, and I killed the whole unit. He did four wounds with the gargoyles. So the giant is down to a si was down to a single wound remaining, and but he got, he did manage to throw uh, hit the net, net on himself, so he didn't do that much damage damage anyway. But with the stomps, and I actually did the crush attack with the great green, green idol on his giant, and hit and wounded. I failed the four up ages, and I did two wounds. But what's funny in this picture is that the the giant, the great green idol, the uh, beast lord. And Madat are all at one wound remaining. Uh, the Beast Lord uh, stru struck at Madat, but he survived. Uh, five up, rerollable armor save saved me. So, um, after this picture, I used stomps and I did did kill the general and I did, I think, I think a single wound on the BSB. And the gargoyles broke and ran. Uh, couldn't pursue them. In his turn, I. Uh, oh my, no, that must have, must have been my turn. That was his turn that they broke. In my turn, uh, I challenged the BSB with the general to save the other <laughs> one wound guys from being attacked. <clears throat> I didn't kill him, but we won combat again, and this time he broke. He man managed up out of four um, discipline tests or something like that, turn four. Uh, and I ran him down with the general, and uh, and the great Unidal ran as well, but the other two just performed. Then I realized that we're playing a scenario, so the K goblins reformed to march down to the lake and claim that ob objective. Uh, and he uh, tried to stop me by charging the raiders into my flank, as you can see here. He did well in the combat, I hit once on 4 up with 8 attacks, so he it was a draw. Maybe he even won. Uh, he, I think he won, but I had the general and the BSP within range, so nothing happened. And uh, that meant that I, that I didn't uh, get the objective. So the last turn I killed the gargoyles and the raiders, and that's it um, for the game. Uh, the chariot up there killed my grotlings as well. So it ended. Let's see, do I have another picture? No. So back to the front page. Um, it ended as a 15-5 to me. I won quite a lot on points and the objective was a draw. Um, so a very <laughs> very fun battle, a very bloody battle. Um, and uh, really good to be back in the in the game again. Also very impressed with the perform performance of the giant and of my chariots, or one of them. No, both of them actually did, did well. Um, my new new things, so have happy to see those uh, uh, performing. I think I will get myself another gi big brother giant with Net because he was so much fun, and I might have to get myself a, a great green idol model as well. He was kind of crap when in combat alone, but he did provide some assistance um, when uh, fighting alongside other units. He also rolled very poorly for his stomps. I don't know how many ones he rolled. In the combat against the wild, hor uh, wild horns, the first two turns I rolled a one for a stomp, and then the chariot charged in and I rolled a one for impact hits. So it <laughs> was really bleak, but uh, they did manage it still. Uh, I didn't get to test my magic in this game because I was an idiot. I think the wyvern would, would have been a an excellent asset in this game if I hadn't messed that up, but. Um, yeah, that was stupid of me, but I knew that from it when I when I rolled the dice, even before I rolled them. So uh, yeah, maybe I'll learn ne next time not to do that. Anyway, um, that's gonna do it. The lists are down in the um, show notes, so check those out, out if you're interested. And uh, thank you for watching. Hopefully there will be more battle reports in the future, in the lack of... Um, tournaments. So yeah, take care and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.